can aim. So good at this game. So effing good. Hey, what's going on, my lads? This Tuesday, we have a massive update, finally, to Black Ops 4. We got multiplayer zombies blackout. We got some blackout gameplay here. It's like a demon took over my body, and I was just actually good at the game somehow. Now, if you are new around here, please subscribe, because we almost have more subs than the population of hecking Neptune. Like... <laughs> I can't believe it. Cheers, guys. Now, before we get into the whole update stuff and look what's coming and coming in the future and that, is it me or are we do uh, a map pack, a massive content drop? You know, I watched Nero's video, Nero Cinema last night, where he compared what we have from the Black Ops Pass versus the Season Pass and just previous games and the content that they have. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for Treyarch to bust down my door and force feed me some content. Like, I, I, I'm waiting... So yeah, we are waiting for a DLC or an announcement, which I hope we get this Tuesday, alongside the update. Now, I will let you guys into a secret that I don't think many people know about, because even I didn't know about until, like, last week, is that in the game files, for ages, like, years, dude, in the game files for Black Ops 4, there is this multiplayer map, which is just sitting there, and it's kind of like a an airfield scrapyard. It reminds me of the... The mission enemy of my enemy is my friend from Modern Warfare 2. There's a picture of a map kind of is like this. I can't show you the, the image, I don't I don't think. You know, I want Treyarch showing up at my door with content. I don't want the men in black showing up. So yeah, there's just this bonus. I'm hoping it's like a free multiplayer map just sitting in the game on its ass cheeks, sweating. Like, please come, map, hello? Please come? Now, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing in this update yet. Well, apart from League Play, but multiplayer, new content-wise, there's... Uh, it's empty, dudes. It's empty, I'm sorry. Now, surprise, surprise, multiplayer's not getting any content, but for zombies? Big Bull's Blundell is delivering again. He's bringing the meat to the table. Of course, we are getting mastery camos, so that's gold, diamond, dark matter in zombies. Cool. But I'm telling you, the grind is going to be mind-numbingly... I'm not doing it. <laughs> F off, dude. We are also getting the Gauntlet for 9. And that's amazing, because Gauntlets is an, an awesome mode, seriously. If you haven't tried it, what are you doing? Please try it. But I get it, right? Voyage of Despair, the first Gauntlet, the first map that the Gauntlet is on. That map, that map deserves to be punished for eternity. It should just... It, sh it shouldn't perish. It should be punished. It deserves it. But 9, a great map. Gauntlets come into that. I welcome that. And that is why I've said for ages, game modes should have been a thing in zombies and should have been a massive thing in zombies for a long time. Look at this. We have a game mode, but now they're adding it to every map. So it's like every few weeks, we're having a massive content update for zombies. And let's be honest, when has zombies ever had content updates like this? Exactly, exactly. You have me to thank for that. I'm a pioneer of ideas, dude. However, alongside that, we do also have mastery camos and reactive camos and all that coming to zombies, which actually brings up a massive thing here. If we can use the variants, the mastercrafts, the reactive camos in zombies, that now means that those stuff that you unlock from the tier system, the black market tier system, is now considered zombies loot. So for all the mad lads, the boys out back out there that only play zombies, that content from the black the tier system is now zombies content. That is now zombies content. So we should be able to earn that just from playing zombies. And I know we have the daily tier skip, but that's not enough, right? But we should now just get it from in-game in, ti in time from playing zombies, just like we do for multiplayer and blackout. And then in the next operation, just add more zombies content like, oh... Tier 10, you get some Nebulium Plasma, whatever it's called, for plasma stuff from zombies, alright? You know, you could earn zombies stuff, and stuff that you can use in zombies, you know, it's just simple. Now, for Blackout, of course, we have changes to armor, balancing stuff, to cluster grenades and concussion grenades. We've known this for a few days, so it's not really new news. However, we also do have the ambush limited time mode, which is like snipers, melee weapons, and launchers only. Which is kind of, I did meme about that the other day when I was talking about, could we have a massive 100 player infected mode? Nah, they're just going to give us a sniper only mode and it happened, it bloody happened, so uh, shit. And then of course they are also adding the camos and completely new camos to grind for and earn from playing Blackout. Which could be nice, but then again you have to go out and find the weapons instead of just equipping them, so the grind might be a bit... 
annoying. Also, just imagine running around with an RK5 in or RK7, that's what it's called, RK7, in Blackout, like, purposefully. Uh, I ain't playing that stuff, dude. So, there you have it. Some pretty dope stuff is coming to Blackout. Zombies is continuing its road to revival, if that's what you want to call it, you know, for Gauntlets mode, when we're getting it to 9, having ultimate camos in Zombies, DLC 2, stuff like that. I just really do hope that multiplayer also gets some cool stuff, like that free map, you know? It's definitely something needed because, once again, going back to Nero's video where he compared the Season Passes to the Black Ops Pass, and it's like, at first, and I did make a video saying the Black Ops Pass might be good because of this and that, it's similar to the Modern Warfare 3 uh, Season Pass, but the thing is, it's like, I thought we were going to be getting multiplayer maps every single month and they're going to spread out, but no, we're getting less maps, four less maps than a, no than a normal Season Pass, and they're not spreading it out. So it's like, what's happening? Like, you know, once again, going back to like, Modern Warfare 3, that DLC system and stuff, it's like, you've got two multiplayer maps every single month. Now, in the past three to four months, we've only had two. Well, Nuketown as well as a free map. So we've had, in the past four months, we've had three multiplayer maps. That's cool, man. That's really neat, you know, Wh whoever's decision that was, really, really clever. Really, really, you're f effing dumbass, like seriously, why are you thinking? So yeah, we need a free multiplayer map, and we need the Black Ops Pass DLC too. But once again, just going back to zombies, like, do two DLC maps for zombies? Uh, drop, drop that stuff now, like, drop it, really, press the button. Boys, I think that's that. Stay spicy, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my dudes.